Alright, is everyone feeling good tonight? Yeah! So, a while back, I was at Target, I was looking for some new action figures to add to my collection. Yes, I collect action figures. I'm a nerd. Why else would I get into magic? <laughs> and as I was browsing, I noticed this like little Pikachu pillow that cost sixty dollars. Seriously. And I'm thinking, and I'm wondering, and I look at that, I'm thinking it's insane. And I'm wondering if maybe like it's because of rising prices, you know, everything else has to counter, has to go up in advance. So I see if it's affecting anything else. And let me just give you a warning. Do not Google Pokemon inflation with safe search off or you will have nightmares for weeks. <laughs> oh. I, I am glad that I am glad you guys got that. That's the only joke I had though, so let's get on with the magic. And I am gonna try something tonight a uh, little more intense than usual. I'm going to do some real uh, mind screw work here. I am going to attempt to steal someone's memory. I'm going to need some help for this, uh, preferably someone who hasn't had a, a lot to drink yet because that would make it too easy. Oh. Oh, Donald, okay, Donald, come on back. Get back up, Donald. <laughs> A fairly decent memory? Yeah. Do you remember the last few No. Ah. One, day, one day that's gonna work. Someday. Someday. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Tom. Now I'm gonna stack of index cards here, and uh, on one of these, I've drawn a couple of images. Okay. I want you to just look at the images on this card and try to commit them to memory. Okay. Only a few, so it shouldn't take you that long, maybe say four or five seconds. Let me know when you think you've got the memory, okay? I'm going to need someone to hold on to this for safekeeping, again, just to verify that I'm not doing anything tricky with it. Dom! Dom! Okay. Dom protecting Dom. It works. Just hold on to this. Okay. Now. Dom. Okay. Perfect. That's going to aid the uh, visualization exercise. I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to try to take you on a guided mental journey through which I will extract that memory. Okay. Now, it's a... Uh, I mean, it's a cooler than normal August. Actually, it might be a little chilly tonight. But I want you to imagine you're on a nice, warm, tropical beach at sunset. You're lying back on the sand, staring at the ocean, you see the waves in front of you. You're trying to get me hard or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so the, uh, Are leave, starting to leave the beach because it's getting dark. Uh, a couple, uh, a very attractive woman walks past. Yeah, she's got long blonde hair, she's got nice hair, and she's wearing a uh, crucifixion diorama. Uh, second, don't forget about her. Uh, she's got a boyfriend. You know, that's always the case with them. <laughs> but uh, they walk past, more people are leaving. You see the person next to you, they get up, they pull the towel over, and I swear, walk off with it. I see it's just you alone on the beach. Sun sets, stars start to come out, a brilliant green moon overhead. It's just huge, complete, peaceful solitude. Do you feel it? I do. Well, tough luck, because I have to bring it back here. Wake up. That's the best. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, I just need this uh, little experiment work. I want you to tell me, from the card I showed you, how many images did you see? Four. Four. Do you know what those images were? Circle underneath the three lines and then to the right a star and a square. Circle, three lines, star and square. Stop, you have the card. How many images are on that card? Five. Five, okay. Is there a circle on that? Yes. Is there a square? Yeah. Is there three wavy lines? Yes. And a star? Yes. And what is the fifth image? Plus sign. Plus sign. Or a cross if you're not agnostic. <laughs> you can bring it up to him. Bring it up to the. Just want to show him just so he knows we're not screwing around. See the five images there? 
Oh my god! Yeah, that is your signature. That correct? certainly is. Yes, he did. I tapped to do a little something Darren Brown does. It's called neuro linguistic programming okay. to try and guide you away from forgetting the cross symbol. Now, when I had you look at the card first, I said there are a couple of images that's there. Look over it. It shouldn't take you too long. Four or five seconds. That's to create confusion as to whether there's four or five images. Okay. And then when you were in the beach scene, I was guiding you to see specific images. The full moon is the circle, the waves, the baby lines, the guy pulls the towel, that's the square, star head. And then when I told you to forget the woman who was wearing the crucifix, that erased the image of the cross from your mind. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm just next to it was only a check. Well, I'm glad it worked. Uh, it certainly did. Thank you for your help, Don. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Don. Thank you to everyone whose name is not Dom or Don. Have a great night. <laughs>